So loving yourself is being kind to yourself, you know, taking care of yourself, doing what you need to do. If that's saying no to someone or, you know, exercising every day or getting an ice cream cone or taking a long bath, um, just doing the things that you need to do because we know, we know ourselves best. Hi, I'm Mikkel and this is my story. The biggest struggle for me was my dad was um, really heavy into alcohol and that kind of tore our family up. I thought that I wasn't worth anything and that, you know, I was a big reason that my parents split up or I was a big reason that my dad had these problems. Um, and so, yeah, I took a big toll on me. There were just times that I would just lay in bed and cry and cry and cry. Um, and I was the oldest and so I felt like I had to take care of my younger siblings as well. And so that put a lot of pressure on me to grow up really fast. Um, I didn't get a focus on myself a lot in my, in my teen years because I felt like I needed to step up for my family. You know, it was really hard on my mom and um, I just felt like I needed to take care of everyone. My parents got divorced in my teens and so I really did have a negative um, self, I, I had negative self-worth, my body type. It was never good enough for me. I struggled a lot with depression and anxiety. I had a really intense battle with that and I still battle with that every day. Um, but for a while I didn't think there was a problem. I just kind of went along with life and I, when I finally, I remember laying in my bed and not wanting to get up. And I remember thinking, I can't look like this anymore. Um, and so I went to counseling. I tried to take some people out of my life that I didn't think should be there, that were affecting me negatively. Um, and I just decided to talk nicely to myself. You know, I had been talked down to for a long time and that's how I talked to myself. And I think that as I've gotten older and as I've been able to see imperfections is a good thing. And, and realizing that, you know, things that maybe I don't like about my body, other people think are beautiful. I think we are way too hard on ourselves. And so just to forgive and love and be me. Don't be what other people want me to be. I'm really passionate about women rallying together and just lifting each other up. I think that, like, if you look on Instagram and see something nice about someone or Facebook or whatever, um, that doesn't mean that you're not beautiful. Just because someone else has something beautiful doesn't mean that that lowers your worth. And I think that we should all rally together and just see the good in each other and see the good in ourselves.